No mai, haere mai, ki te cafe. Welcome to the cafe, great to have you with us. Today marks the start of Māori Language Week and we're also still in the midst of Matariki. So to celebrate, we're pleased to welcome our next guest, I'm really excited about this actually, <laughs> Rawari Paratini and Tainui Tuki Waho. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Round of applause. Good way to start Māori Language Week here. Yeah, I'm more Ngāti Grey Lynn than I am Ngāti Pōrō, so I'm going to learn a lot today. Um, first of all, I'll start with you, Tainui. What is Pura Pura Fetu, the play, all about? Um, it was good. We had uh, the end of rehearsals yesterday. We had a big conversation about what story we were telling. So Pura Pura Fetu is about um, a small town that's needing to grow and move on from where it is, but it needs to do some healing before that happens. Mm. And the story we're telling is a story of how love for Fano can sometimes be negative and the way to over overcome the negativity that comes out of that is with more love. Mm -hmm. And we're looking to tell a story about that and trying to encourage our people. You know, I really that. like, I like the way you just said, we finished our rehearsals yesterday and then we discussed what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it would have come the other way around. So it was like three weeks of rehearsals before we talked about <laughs> um, what it was about. And a cast of Fluent Te Reo as well? It was interesting. Mostly. Cross yeah. Yeah. yeah, mostly. I'm probably the, the least the least capable with the real. Really? Yeah. We're in a really interesting situation where, um, in terms of um, the, the matato or the, the level of our um, performers, um, as, as Paka says, he doesn't feel the most confident in the real, but in terms of his ex experience as a performer, he sits at the top. And then our real speakers, the most confident real speaker, this is her first show. Mm -hmm. So the um, exchange that's happening between Anipiki and Paka is a wonderful thing to be able to watch and facilitate because they're sharing their skills the whole way through the process. It's fascinating. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, uh, so obviously this play is in Te Reo, is it? No, it was first written in English by Barak A. Smith and um, it's been recently translated. So this is the first performance of it. It's a, it's a classic nice. New Zealand piece of mm -hmm. New Zealand theatre um, that's been done several times all over the country. Now, I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but Māori is a beautiful language. Is there a fear that it perhaps could die out in New Zealand? Because I know we talk about that a lot, and I'm probably not doing much to help the cause, really, am I? <laughs> oh, I should learn some more, Mike. Um, but is there that fear, do you reckon, Rawari? I don't like the word fear, but there is the reality with Indigenous languages is they're all at risk. Um, in my lifetime, because I had a lot to do with the first Māori language day, and in my lifetime, I've seen a, a fantastic turn around. So I have some of my grandchildren who have never spoken to me in English. Wow. And, yeah. yeah. And um, that's been a complete turnaround. And so I struggle with my Māori with them, and they chuckle at my Māori. <laughs> in the the same... granddad's pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Or my grammar or everything. And in the same way that... Um, when I was their age, I used to chuckle at my grandmother's English. Right. Yeah, and so for me, that's a fantastic turnaround. Isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> it seems like there is more knowledge nowadays from when I think when I went to school, yeah. from what my children are learning now. They're definitely learning more about the heritage and culture in, their sco in school. Mm, yeah. I'm, I believe that it should be an integral part of the, of the primary school syllabus and that, and that all New Zealanders... Māori language belongs to all New Zealanders and that we should all grow up with it and the sooner we move to that, the better. Nice statement on the start of, of Māori yeah. Language Week. OK, let's get back to this play quickly, Tainui. Mm. Uh, you're both an actor and a director, because I've seen you on the small screen quite a bit as Step well. Step Dave. Step Dave. Step Dave, Farming that's Step what it Dave. is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what do you like doing? Is it more directing or is it more the acting? I like um, being part of this industry, because right. I... Um, I produce as well. At the moment, we're touring a Māori language show around schools through the country, and I wrote that. And I also am an arts manager, so I opened the first Māori theatre space that we've had in New Zealand for 20 years last year. Nice. So I manage that venue as well as producing, directing, writing and acting. I just like being part of this thing that I get to do. You've got a lot going on here. Yeah. I know, and isn't it beautiful that you're now working with oh, uh, the first cool, Māori graduate um, from the New Zealand Drama School, <laughs> yes. is that right? That's right. Yeah. yeah, so look at that, full circle, it's isn't it? Choice. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Wow. Congratulations. So we, so we have to play. What's next for you, Ra? I'm going to have a break. I've been, I've, yeah, <laughs> You've been well, working too hard. I keep telling my wife this, that I'm going to have a break, and she just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> well, we're really looking forward to the play. It sounds absolutely intriguing. Best of luck to you both as well. Yeah. Uh, thanks for stopping by to see us. Rawari, Rawari and Tainui and their play, Pura Pura Fetu, shows from this Wednesday in Auckland.